Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Aisha and today, as you can tell, we are not at home. <laughs> I love opening up these vlogs in random hotel rooms apparently. But yeah, I don't do many vlogs but it's always fun when I do do one. So this, this kind of, I say weekend, it's actually a Thursday today, so this week little, this little trip is, we might have gone very far and I'm, I know last time I opened up a vlog I was in New York, we are not quite in an ex as exciting place as New York, but we are in Manchester, here in England, if people don't know where that is, um, it's not too far from us, it's just come for a little night away for Jay's birthday, but Manchester is the home of two Bath and Body Works in the UK, and the only standalone store, which is so exciting, so we have made it here to Trafford Park in Manchester, which has the only, the one single standalone store, and we have just spent the morning up in another area of Manchester, in the Manchester Arndale Centre, where they have opened up a section of Bath and Body Works in the next store. So, the day is a little bit out of whack, like, I'm opening the video halfway through the day, so you'll see what we got up to this morning, and then, and I'm going to go and head to Trafford Centre and film some there. So, yeah, for context, the Arndale one is a Bath and Body Works inside the next this Trafford Park on which I have been to the opening of and there is that vlog on my channel is a full standalone store which is so exciting honestly this hotel we're just staying in like a little hotel near Trafford Park um it has like an amazing light honestly it's like the best lighting I've ever used on my channel I don't know bit of a, a random one anyway we've had a great morning you'll see what we get up to um, in the next clips I'll try and check in as much as I can but Trafford Centre is such a busy loud place I don't know if I'll actually be able to like chat around Trafford Centre with you guys or if it'll just be music or a voiceover or whatever but yeah I will walk through the whole store so you can feel like you're there and see what is out um and about and yeah which is kind of a nice a little nice evening for Jay's birthday and then tomorrow we're gonna go back into the Manchester City Centre and do some Christmas market so That'll be fun. So, hope you stick with us and see what we got up to.
while since our Manchester trip and I really wasn't sure about posting this vlog or no it's not really it's not it's not really a vlog I suppose it's more of a store walkthrough and a little sneak peek for you guys that don't have a Bath and Body Works store or insert in your next I have to travel to Manchester <laughs> to have one uh, so you saw the Manchester Arndale Centre which does have an insert into the next and then the Travis Centre which is obviously the standalone store um, there was loads of Christmas loads of bits now obviously you saw that it's not this year's Christmas packaging mostly it's kind of a mix between this year's and last year's I was going to do a voiceover on this video and then I just had so much to say that the voiceover just didn't match I thought I'll just have some music for you to have a little look through of all of the footage and videos and all the items and things and then we'll chat through the scents and what's going on. So we had last year's packaging mostly so you've still got your Twisted Peppermint, Vince Candy Apple and the Vanilla Bean Noel. Vanilla Bean Noel is just really weak, it's a really light scent. I'm not the biggest fan of Vince Candy Apple, you guys know that but it is a fan favourite and then Twisted Peppermint I've really kind of grown to like. It's just like a vanilla -y, minty kind of scent but yeah so they are out on the front table and then you've got the collection like the snowflake collection so it was like the snowflakes and cashmere snow strawberry snowflakes winterberry wonder the frosted coconut snowball and there might be another one oh yeah and fireside flurries i love that collection i thought it was so cute and again this year it's different but yeah we are talking about last year's christmas packaging for this year's floor set so winterberry wonder an absolute favorite comes in the purple packaging love that one snowflakes and cashmere a love for me also um really enjoying that one recently frosted coconut snowball is not an absolute favorite but it is a great one if you love coconut all year round and then the fireside flurries really surprised me it's that like bonfire vanilla -y marshmallow note it was really nice if you like a really mellow lavender note i think you'd love that one i actually liked it and i don't like lavender at all the strawberry snowflakes absolutely dis disappointed me it smells cold it smells crisp it smells like bergamot and then like a slight strawberry sweetness but i it's not what i was looking for i don't love that one I'm quite disappointed if I am truly honest. That's like the snowflake type collection you saw me have a sniff of. And then there is the collection with all of the new-ish. So kind of like the end of summer collection with sensual amber in, cactus blossom, underwater oasis. So that is out the actual new updated packaging that type faceted type of collection sensual amber was too perfumey too mature too amber on that note of like sharp perfume didn't love it but if you love a good mature date night scent it is a nice one um for that type of scent and then the underwater oasis kind of smelled like a masculine gingham to me like very watery but i understand why people like it because it's really fresh and crisp so that is still available and then the cactus blossom is just like a watery florally scent quite fresh um, and then the Midnight Sit Blue, Blue Citrus, I did really enjoy that, I loved the candle, it's like a mango-y, fresh, could be unisex type scent, really liked that one. The sale had the gingham variations out, so gingham, fresh, gorgeous and vibrant, I think they all just smell like gingham, just with a slightly different note, I think gingham fresh just smells like gingham, it doesn't really have much of a pear note, gingham gorgeous, just smells like a softer kind of hint of strawberry sweetness gingham and then the vibrant has like a florally violet-y type note. I'm not the biggest fan of any of those, um, they did have some gingham love items out which I yeah, I really like Ingham Love, so I was happy to see that still out and about. They had the new In The Stars packaging, which was super cute. Some of the new Champagne Toast packaging. Um, so we are starting to see some of 2023 peep in there, but considering it's literally January next month, they're still pretty behind. None of that gorgeous fairy tale collection that we're seeing over in the US with fairy tale, with snowflakes cashmere, with strawberry snowflakes, with like all the bunnies and the squirrels on. I'm obsessed with that packaging. I need to get my hands on that, but yeah, that's still not come out on the floor set. Loads of gifts. The gifts were three for two at the time. Um, there was no other body care or candle offers. So ugh, online is still looking the best way to do it. We want to shop in store. We want to support the stores. We want to make people know that yes, we want these Bath and Body Works stores popping up more around the country. However, the offers just, yeah, they, they weren't there. There was no three for two on body care, no £10 of candles, anything like that. Um, I was really lucky to have um, spotted someone in store that I noticed, that I remembered from the Travis Centre opening. He was from head office over in the US. We did have a little bit of a chat. Um, he recognised me and he remembered me, which was lovely. We had a bit of a chat about everything that had been going on with my channel, everything that had been going on with the Bath and Body Works world, about all the sense and everything. And he did mention that there are going to be more, star, more stores popping up around the country which is so exciting they have loads of plans for 2025 i think it was so that's really exciting still a long way off but at least they are making progress and heading towards more stores 
which is fingers crossed it's so exciting um you saw in the clips there was like a tiny bit of halloween left in the stores there was a girlfriend hand soap i think and then the magic midnight spell and the red or the other red one from the halloween collection so drips and drabs of halloween in store but not the full collections um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope the clips give you some shopping inspiration and then um, for you guys to see what is still in the stores and knocking about obviously online is kind of the biggest stock place it has all the collections and things but we are still behind with the christmas and winter launches anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye